I saw what happened, but take us through the initial contact that you had with Kyle and then the... Yeah, we, we got a really good start. He left the door wide open, uh, went through the middle, almost had him clear the 34, uh, you know, kind of ran up the track and, you know, we all just kind of touched there, uh, nothing major. Uh, and then Kyle tried to wreck me in three and four and then finally did wreck me there in, in one and two. But uh, our car was really fast. I felt really good. We were good yesterday and bummed that, uh, you know, we had already passed two or three cars there. So bummed that, uh, you know, we couldn't couldn't see it to the end. What did you say to his crew? I told Randall that, well, first I parked it there because I figured Kyle would, you know, do something similar. Um, and then just told Randall that he could tell Kyle I'll see him afterwards uh, over the radio since there's no tunnel here I can't leave um, so I I'll be here when the race is over what do you need to hear from him to make it nothing make it better? nothing nothing I'll handle it have you seen a replay do you think you squeezed them at all for him to react like that I don't that? know I mean we barely touched um, I don't know I mean I haven't seen a replay but the gap was wide open I drove through there could have put you know one and a half cars through it in the center and then you know, the 34 was coming up off the bottom, so I mean it was just hard racing. I thought. Um, I mean it's the all-star race, short track. Uh, you got to get as much as you can early. Once this thing stretches out, you won't pass. So you got to get all the cars you can early. I uh, felt like I did a really good job, and he just did a poor job on the start, and then he was mad about it. So uh, I think that's the way the season's gone. How do you plan to handle it? Uh, you can just watch afterwards.